You see it. Let's go. What's going on, BSU? So we're going to get this Art Morrison, well, not Art Morrison, but Morrison battery leak relocator installed. Uh, got a few things in here. I'm going to take out <coughs> that we're going to use for later. So First thing I need to do though is <clears throat> figure out where I want my bat my uh, cables to come from. So this here is my cable. So I believe I want to run it down through there. I want to keep it inside the car. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep this inside the car. So. I already got a tab on this side. I think I am going to leave that one, send it this way. Send as much that way as I can. I got this one here, which is, I'm gonna, well, check this out, guys. Look over here. I'm gonna drill a hole here. In fact, I got a water thing right there, and I'm gonna connect this to the frame. I to go ahead and clear so we'll go down in there somewhere. Yep. So, first thing first, let me drill two holes. I think I'm gonna drill one here. these holes in here at the bottom for so I can drill through the trunk. Just for you guys to know, just be down here on the ground. Got the new fuel cell that I'm going to put in here. So that's the reason why I'm doing the battery re relocator now. Now, uh, so I'm going to send a positive through here and a negative through there. But, yeah, I know I'm going to drill some more holes. But not drill some more, but drill some, a couple of bigger holes. But what I want to do first is that I want to get this box in here. I would like to push it back as far as I can. Also, I want this right there. I want it as close as I can get it. Oh my god, I'm sorry box right there if I can put if I can drill I need to check though because I can use a stubby screwdriver to snap to get these down but I want it just like that right there next to that matter of fact I don't want it touching just like that yep so that's what I want right there so I think I need to get me a marker and I'm going to get these holes drilled, then I'm going to bring y'all back. Alright, so we got our holes drilled right there. And I still I can drill those holes bigger once I install this box. So here's how we're doing it. We're going to stick these down in here. Just 
just like that. Then I'm gonna put through the trunk and we're gonna screw them, screw them up under, up under the bottom. So. Need to probably gonna screw this down a little bit. I'm gonna make sure that I have enough to screw on to and keep it down this low. Yeah, we should be that should be okay. Okay, we got some new new, so my mistake. I need to check, I didn't check this crap. So I gotta change my holes. So double check your stuff, y'all. All right, so we got it all done. We have it here, like you see here. So as you can see down in the box, we put bolts in these as well, as long as, as well as these two here. Uh, we're gonna have our uh, negative coming in through here, going down back there. As you can see through that grommet. Then we're gonna have our positive come through here, hook into our fuse, and from our fuse going back out. And here is our vent tube here. So. I mean, it's not hard to do. I gotta fix that hole back there you see right there. But I plastic well that hole. And there we go. Now what I'm gonna have to do though, I'm gonna have to pull this box out to to do the uh <clears throat> to put the battery in it. To sit the battery down in it, then slide it back and put it back in there. But what I'm gonna do but that is maybe not maybe I, I might be able to squeeze it in here I don't know but yeah because I'm going to weld the screws to the bottom of each one of these these mounting points I'm going to screw I'm going to uh, bolt them sorry I'm going to weld it down so um, once I do that then I ain't got to worry about getting back up under there and trying to screw the screws in it already be set so yeah that's what I'm gonna do so you know that being said we're gonna move on to something else it's time for us to get on the interior and get that uh that doggone uh kill mat hold on y'all it's time for me to get that kill mat put down so that I can go ahead and uh start on that crap because while I'm waiting on other stuff, I might well keep some going. Got to keep moving on it. Got to keep moving so, so we can go to this next thing. Okay, good people. So we are about to vacuum this thing out because we're gonna lay our kill mat, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get to it. Some of the things there's a little bit of um, sound deadener in here. I'm not gonna bomb it. I'm gonna uh, lay mine right over the top of it, just even, just making even more sounder in here. So. Let's do it. And when I, I'll get some more, if I, if I got enough, I'm gonna do the ceiling. But if I don't, then uh, we'll get some more. So let's vacuum. <laughs>
All right, so we got that done. Let me wipe my face down, man. I'm gonna get back to y'all. All right, y'all, so as you can see, put that one on the ceiling. The reason why I put that one on the ceiling is because it, shall I say the roof, is because that that one is different than these, these other ones. This one here was the one I had left over from the truck. So I'm gonna bust these open and see what, what we got in these. Put y'all right there. Y'all gotta excuse though, the football game is on too. I don't know if y'all can hear it or not. Okay, so this kill mat is different than the, than the other ones. In fact, small sheets right here. Let me bust this one open. Okay, these two are the same. So, Jump all these out. Uh, let's see what we got. All right, so play these things out like that. I'm gonna lay them out first. See what we look like. Bad knees, y'all. I got seriously bad knees. Oh shit. Mm, mm, mm. That shit hoit. Alright, so I think I'm gonna do is that I'm only over the top of it. Yeah. Go all the way to the end there. And then I'll cut this one. Push this down like that. And uh at the end, I'll give me a piece. They come in here. That's what I'm gonna do. Can y'all see that? Yeah, y'all can see that. That's how I'm gonna lay it out. And then uh, I'm gonna get the open floor first, and then we're gonna come back and do anything that we need to fill. Yes, sir. So let's jump into time lapse and get to it.
Alright guys, so I don't know where it ended at. Camera was smoking hot, so uh let me turn it y'all around and let y'all see. Yep. Those are the tools that I use right there. Didn't use nothing else. There got my power wire coming from the back. Got it set up to go out that hole right now, but I don't know yet. We'll get rid of this steering wheel here. Put in the 85. And I went on and did the roof. So this gonna bring this video to an end. But let me show y'all something right quick. As you can see it. Barely see it right there. We're gonna paint this. Oh, where's the front end? Uh-huh. Guess what we're getting ready for? We're getting ready to paint y'all. So keep up with the videos. If you want to go back and check out how I put this wiper motor right here on the side, because it usually sits out here where I cleaned up the firewall. But I put it on the side over here, so Want to go check out that video? Go check it out. But if not, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we're going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace.